How's it going everybody? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Guys, welcome here to my channel. So I'm doing your daily tarot card reading for Monday, April 12th, and the deck I'm using is the Tarot of Dreams. So I just, as many of you know, I had a birthday last week and I just wanted to thank everybody so much for like the warm wishes and everything. And it was a really beautiful day. So thanks so much, you guys. Um, and for those of you who sent me gifts, like that was just amazing. Just, you know, so kind. So thank you. But I mean, Easter was, you know, a few days ahead of my birthday. And you guys know I like to do theme weeks, especially around major holidays. So I, I definitely wanted to um, wear some bunny ears. So I mean, I don't want to put bunny ears to waste, so we're going to just go ahead and throw those on. And I think these ones are too tall to get entirely in the shot, but I think they complement my shirt. <clears throat> and I'm just going to shuffle the deck here, you guys, Tarot of Dreams. So, I accidentally bought a second pair of bunny ears. Um because that's just how I roll, because I forgot I had the first pair. These are from a few years ago. So I have a second pair of bunny ears, so I'm going to put those, and they just look, I don't know, I, I really like it. So we're going to keep it, <laughs> and I'm going to start doing your reading for Monday, April 12th. Yay, for all zodiac signs, and I probably need to, oh boy, Okay, so do I need to slouch to get these into the shot? I'm not going to worry about it too much. You guys get the idea. All right, so I pulled a card. And it's it's going to be one of those situations. I'm going to show you the card here right away, I promise. Where it's like, you know, this is the five of wands, okay? And this is a very hectic, fiery you know, it could feel a little bit like a trial by fire for you today. Um, you know, and what I'm getting here is like, I'm just writing that down. You're probably experiencing the same type of person over and over and over again because you need to find a way to manage the situation and it's not happening for you yet. And you could be thinking literally, why is this happening again? Like, why am I running into this kind of jerk at the grocery store or, you know, be, it, it, or you could be dating the same type of person and trust me, I know what that's like because I did that for uh, the best portion of my life. Um, but there's something within you that needs to be healed because it's still attracting in people to trigger you, right? And that's a little bit of your shadow self-healing and that's part of going through the dark night of the soul. Um, and you know, if you don't learn your lesson or heal your trauma the first time, the universe is going to keep bringing it back and back and back and back. And you'll be like, what gifts, you know, and until you make the connection that it's, it's actually all about you, uh, it's probably never going to be resolved. So instead of sort of fighting back against it here you know, this is brutal. Uh, this card always makes me sing everybody was kung fu fighting in my head. Instead of doing that, instead of deciding how to try to deal with that person or that situation, it's time to go and learn how to deal with that part of you that is getting triggered, okay? And find out where it came from. So you might have to take a little walk down memory lane that could be a little bit more unpleasant than you want it to be. But it's amazing the epiphanies that you can have when you look back and go, oh, that happened way, way back in the day. Um, you know, so it's time for that. Like, don't even don't even let that person step to you. Just filter them right out. Um, see, and there is a reciprocating energy here with the six of coins. Like you're getting this because you're giving it, you know, it's that constant ebb and flow of energy. Does anybody ever watch SCT television? Just let me know. Cause they had this scene where they would talk about pancakes. Anyway, it was hilarious. Um, Canadians might get that Canadians, my age anyway. So 
And I feel like this is some sort of a repressed energy because there's only a little bit coming out here. You can see this guy, he's got tons and tons of coins in the background there. Did I tell you guys this with the six of coins I meant to? You know, he's got tons here and he's holding it back. And it's like, if you allow that little bit it looks like there's going to be quite a deluge of emotion and that could be why you're holding it back right because you don't want to deal with it but because you're not dealing with your own mess you're inviting in other people's garbage you know what i mean so um and if you want to be attracting in a higher i'm not getting the word caliber and that's not really the way i think but, you know, my spirit guides are quite blunt. If you want to be attracting in people that are higher vibrational, you're going to have to fix your vibration yourself, okay? Um, so this is definitely happening today. You could get, you're going to get triggered, okay? So just remember that it's a mirror. You're looking in a mirror, okay? That person is your reflection of what it is that you're giving. And you are holding back quite a bit more than you are allowing yourself to think. So I pulled the Eight of Wands here. So I really feel like a healing could take place incredibly quickly. And things could change. Remember what I was saying that when you deal with your own trauma and it's like here's the tip of the iceberg here that you're seeing with the six of coins this is what you're aware of but this is what's behind it you know so uh yeah you got to take care of that and i've given you guys all kinds of recommendations like inner child healing meditations um you know cord cutting million things out there or just allow yourself to remember that so it doesn't dictate who the universe is presenting in front of you so once you finally do that once you have the strength and trust yourself enough to go through that forgive whoever you have to forgive especially yourself look at this you know the eight of wands is a really fast tracking energy and it also talks about you know a really bright and bubbly um sort of personality so this could be available to you so let's have a look at the before and after before not much fun i mean people that are stuck in this it's very very challenging to live that okay so there is some sort of um you know i'm getting some strange words from my spirit guides like for a change am i right rumble in the jungle and you're the jungle welcome to the jungle baby um and then there's this it's beautiful it's rising high and and the energy is like really bubbly and effervescent so and taking you so much farther because you'll be attracting way better experiences and people you know let's pull you another card here here's the queen of cups She's really, really, really like got her emotions on lockdown. This is a fantastic card. Many of you, I'm actually getting that you could have a Pisces friend or family member that could be able to help you um, go through this uh, sort of a, a release of negative energy from your past. So if could be any water sign, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I'm really getting a strong Pisces vibe here. And Pisces people are just so sensitive, so they could help you transmute through this. And there are spirit animal dolphins in the background too, so <clears throat> I would really check that out, you guys, because there are specific spirit guides around you right now because you're ready to not go through this universal type of pain again it's time for you guys to release that and the queen of cups you know she looks really fierce right here in this card and she's ready to rock on forwards instead of backwards so you guys got to discover where that tip of the iceberg goes down to and melt it so that you can rise a little bit higher with this eight of wands so i think that's really interesting um 
And some things are tougher to face than others and you might not even remember some of them. And I've had some like pretty big epiphanies like doing tarot card readings like on camera with you guys. So hopefully this triggers a memory so that it doesn't tr continue to trigger you down the road. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna, yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> Take care. Bye.